All right, in this video, what we're gonna go into is we're going into Puik Pro, which is a free web analytic platform, and it has some very interesting things about it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about it and tell you what I like about Puik and why I think it's good because it obviously competes with Google Analytics. Now, the big problem that people have with Google Analytics is, well, they just went from the, uh, from the G3 to the G4. So they've made things a little bit more confusing, but the big problem is Google, you have to agree to the terms and let Google use your data. And they're basically a data company. So they take all your data and really use it when you think about it, all of the metrics, when you put like Google Analytics on your website, one of the things about it is that they can actually see your bounce rates and all that stuff, and those are all ranking factors. So it's a little bit like letting the fox into the hen house, but I'm gonna show you Puik and why I think it's a pretty interesting alternative. So just speaking broadly about it, they um, I, I don't love the, the site here, um, just in terms of making it easy to understand what the real benefits of this are. And I'm just gonna explain it to you and bring it together so you can understand a little bit about how you wanna use this. First off, Puik Pro is actually free. So a lot of people see the Pro and they think, oh, okay, this is a paid tool. Uh, not necessarily, in this case, it's free and it's got some real advantages over Google Analytics. So basically what it is, is it covers the analytics. It also covers the tag manager and obviously, Tags are becoming more and more important. Um, if you haven't moved to a tag manager type system, you should really consider using Puik Pro because it will help you manage all your tags. So rather than putting snippets of code on individual pages, this allows you to update them and have them all in one place as well as keep notes about them, which is really important. So there's the web analytics and you can see that they have uh, analytics and you can understand about your, your uh, customers. And I would argue that this dashboard is a lot easier to understand and will give you more actionable insights as a web owner than you would find with Google Analytics unless you're really familiar with Google Analytics already. So as I said, they have the, the tag manager. Um, so again, you can, there's a whole bunch of benefits to using tags. You can see when they fired, you can test different tags and you'll be able, able to update things all at once, which is really important, particularly if you have multiple websites and you're using the same tag and you wanna use it on multiple websites. You know, Let's say you have a conversion tag for a, uh, like a webinar, someone that's, that's bought something on a webinar or gotten to a certain point of the webinar where they see your sales message and you want to fire a tag at that point, right? Um, so it's just easier to manage all of your tags that way. The other thing is they have the customer data profile. So you can build customer data profiles. And as you can see here, um, what I like about this is this shows you that they have hashed out, you know, these users that they don't know the email about, but once they have the email about that particular user, what they can do is you can track revenue on it. You can see what they've done, where they've gone on your site, how long they've been on your pages, all that kind of stuff. First visit, last visit, all, all, all kinds of stuff. Um, and again, consent management, uh, particularly in the EU, this is a big issue, uh, valid consent management. So they'll allow you to have this and it's much more intuitive if you wanna get you know, the proper consents and you know slice and dice your data uh, based on that. Um, so it, it allows you to really have, uh, to retain the full history of user consents and data requests, which is important. Um, so some issues uh, or some other things about it, uh, switching from Google Analytics, um, they've got some benefits of that here. And you can see that they've broken down some of these different features of what Puik can do and Puik Pro Enterprise. So as I said, it's a little bit confusing because Puik Pro Core is actually free and they actually have 
a little bit less data for free than you can get with Google Analytics, but with all the other benefits, I really think that, that it makes sense. So I've installed it on one of my sites here, or part of one of my sites, just to test it out. And as you can see, it's really easy to select different periods, um, you know, so you can go, go by the day and just click apply, and you can see um, your, your data. So I'll just grab it from maybe some from the last week, and you can see the OutClinic data. So these are click, where do people go from your site when they click off to a different domain? You can see all of that stuff, and I'll just show you basically the uh, the dashboards. So when you see this, um, you can see these are the main dashboards. If you will start one of them, it'll jump to the top, and you can see the uh, website performance. And as you can see, it gives you everything in a very actionable type of way. So this is good if you're trying to, you know, analyze where your traffic is coming from. You can see what, um, like what, which browser people are using, 404 pages, all kinds of stuff. You can also see your paid traffic. Um, right now, I don't have any paid traffic going to that site. Your marketing performance, uh, bounce rate. And I, I just find this view, this dashboard, easier to digest the information than on Google Analytics. You can see where your traffic is, is coming from. Uh, it helps you dig into the SEO, so you can dig into where people are coming, you know, specifically from SEO, what pages they're landing on, and so on and so forth, as well as the user engagement, which is really important, right? So in YouTube, this is like checking out your demographics. Here, it's very important to see, you know, uh, where people are, are coming from, when they're bouncing, how long they're on the page, and that sort of thing. Uh, so that, that is pretty important. So it's important to, let's say this one, you know, this page, uh, people stay on it for over a minute on average, which is good versus this one, which is, is five seconds. Um, so going into the reports, again, you can drill down into a lot of these different, uh, things. You can create custom reports and you can also create goals, right? So in the custom report, they, they've already got some things set up. So you can look at, at uh, your data from certain geos, um, from different landing pages that people have come through and different referrers, which, um, which is, is interesting as well. So you can break all these down. You can also set goals. Um, so if you wanna set up a goal, you can actually set up a goal and do it with a page visit, um, with a, a file download, a custom event, all those sorts of things. And it's pretty easy and intuitive to set up. One other thing I will say about this is if you use LastPass like I do, when you set up your account, you're gonna have a, um, a subdomain that you're going to create. And LastPass won't necessarily save the proper subdomain. So that was one of the reasons I was having trouble logging into this when I initially got this set up. Um, so just make sure that you know you save this as your URL in LastPass and you shouldn't have any problems with that. So I'm just gonna take a, a quick dive into you know some of the free analytic programs here. And as I mentioned before, Puik, Pro has an action limit of 500,000 actions, which is probably good for most sites. Um, it will have the most privacy and security, and it's got some really good features. Um, Google Analytics is moving from GA3 to GA4, which again, you know, is can be very confusing for some web owners. And um, with these ones, it's th these are a little bit difficult to uh, to install. So when you're looking at some of these different web platforms, um, I think tag management is important, um, as I mentioned that before. So something that's integrated where you can have all your tags in one place is great. And again, this doesn't tie it to a particular Google profile, right? Um, and there may be multiple reasons why you wouldn't wanna have all your analytics tied to one particular Google profile. So that's something to think about. Um, the data is, is um, really easy to look at in PUIC. Um, and I think that the data privacy is, I mean, for business owners, it is important. And it's one of those things that not a lot of people think about, but if you have PUIC Pro on your site and you know you, you can 
slice and dice and, and get to the bottom of that a little bit easier than on in, in Google Analytics. OK, um, so obviously Google Analytics, you know, they do have data privacy issues and, um, you know, it's they make it hard and sometimes it's impossible to collect personal and sensitive data. And with Piwik Pro, you have a lot more control over that. So that is something that you should um, should, should really look at. So all in all, um, I would encourage you if you have a website, you know, put on Piwik Pro and actually look at the at the data you know compared a little bit to google analytics if you already have analytics and you can have both of them on your website and then once you're happy with it you can remove google analytics and that would be my recommendation if you don't have any analytics on your site at all right now because you've just found that Google Analytics is overly complicated, then now would be a great time to install this on your site. Um, you know, for most small business owners, um, if you're looking at 500,000 um, actions, you know, that will probably be enough to get you going. And if you're already hitting that, then maybe you have a, an IT department and that sort of thing that's, that's already got this under control for you um, and already handling this sort of things. But, yeah, I mean, I like one of the things I really like about this is the data just the dashboards just look cleaner. Um, it's easier to drill down to get the information that you want so you can make actual decisions about your business. Anyhow, um, so I'll put a link in the description so you can create your free account at Puig Pro. And if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. That's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one.